We Heart Seiko. Hey yo, what's good, gang? It's Hey Seiko. If you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe and turn on them post notifications. But if you already in the gang, I don't gotta say too much. You already know my body. Hit the like button and drop a comment. That's all I ask. That's all I ask. Nothing too much. But before we get into this video, I'm showing y'all my controller settings. Make sure you put your pro stick function on dribble moves. This will make it a whole bunch easier for you to do some of these moves, like your momentums and everything like that. It'll make it way more easier. And if you're still having troubles doing the momentum and spamming down the court, this is how you do it right here. But make sure you watch my last video. I'm going to have the link to it in the upper right corner for y'all. And after this clip, I'm going to be showing y'all the clips of the moves I'm going to be teaching y'all. So I'm going to meet y'all back after these clips. All right, y'all, so the first move I'm gonna teach y'all is the whoop de bastizo. This move is very easy. It's the exact same way you did it in 19. The only difference is you hold R2 while doing it. So I'm gonna tell you how to do it for your left hand and your right hand. It's really the opposite when you do it. So if the ball is in your left hand, you wanna flick the right stick down, and then you wanna flick the left stick to whichever hand the, whichever hand the ball is in. So if, if you have the ball in your left hand, you wanna flick the right stick down and then the left stick up to the upper left. And if it's in your right hand, you want to flick the right stick down and then flick the left stick up to your to the upper right. Whichever hand the ball is in, that's where you flick the left stick. You dig? If you don't get what I'm saying, just look at the controller. I got many videos of me doing it in here. It's very easy to do, I promise you. The only difference is you just hold R2. All right, and the next move I'm going to show y'all is the behind the back escape. A lot of stage guards use this move and a lot of dribble guys uh, use this move. So it's the exact same thing as last year. You just want to hold R2. So if the ball is in your right hand, because you know you got to move to the opposite side so you can move the ball behind your back. So if the ball is in your right hand, you want to hold you want to hold R2, flick the right stick down, and the left stick, you want to move it to, like, the left. You dig? So, but you want to move it, like, it's kind of it's kind of hard. To, it's not even hard to explain. You honestly just do what I tell you. Like, you just move. You hold R2 down, and you want to flick the right stick down, and you move the left stick to the opposite ball hand and it'll, it'll give you that animation it's the exact same way you did it as last year you just want to hold r2 and the funny thing is you can even spam this move this year so after you do it by holding r2 and then flicking the right stick down the left stick to wherever uh the opposite ball hand all you gotta do is tap l2 after that and you just keep doing it over and over and you can spam it now this move is from 2k17 also it's kind of like 2k18 move it's the elite three cheese remember when all the stretches used to do elite three and then they'll do like all the stretches and sharps every basically any archetype that couldn't like speed boost they'll do elite three and then they'll do the uh the hop step well you could do it in the 17 too everybody used to do elite three but this is that move so basically what you want to do is you want to hold r2 the whole time so say if the ball is in your right hand right you want to first do a crossover. You want to hold R2 and you want to move the right stick to the left. Before that animation even completes, you want to move you want to move the left stick down back to the right. So you want to move the left stick back where you started from with the ball in your hand and you want to just tap square. Basically, whichever hand the ball is going in after the crossover, you move the left stick the opposite direction of that and you want to tap square if you don't know how to do a hop step. But to make a long story short, simplify it. You do a crossover and then you do a hop step, just like in 2K17 and 2K18. All right, so the last two moves I'm gonna show y'all are sham guys. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you the behind the back sham guy and the front sham guy. There's also another variation of the front sham guy when you're coming down court and you get a fast animation and it, it looks tough. So the first sham guy is the easiest. Whichever hand, whichever hand the ball is in. So if if the ball, just do it right now. Put the put the ball in your right hand. All you have to do is move the right stick to the right and then you want to move it to the left really fast. It's really easy. That's the front sham guard. So whichever hand the ball is in, you want to move the right stick to the ball hand and then you want to move it to the opposite side really quick. And then you want to do the same thing, but just coming down court. 
And then that's when he gets that coming down court uh, sham god. Now, the behind the back sham god is also my one of my favorites. You want if the ball if the ball is in your left hand, you want to hold R2, flick the right stick down, and you want to move the left stick to the opposite ball hand. And then he'll do the behind the back sham god. Now, after you do that, I want you to uh, still hold on to R2, but I want you to flick the right stick down after that, and you'll get a Steph Curry animation. The move is real simple. I got it from Carry and DF. Shout out to Jay, bro. I've been watching him since them 2K16 days. Shout out to you, bro. I really mess with that combo a lot. But I'm going to show you some more clips of me doing it, and then that's going to be the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications, and you new. And I'm out, gang.